people say in that fact, but it's like he's been going on these rants and it's looking like a pattern. Yeah, and it's yeah. like you just look you look mad because Max stuff took off and right. yeah. you said, oh, Hold on, hold on. That was my idea. Right. Goldland has the best album of the year to me. Bro, get out of here. <laughs> but Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god. So let's move into this goal link and Matt Miller debate. What, 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 happened, what happened? So pretty much, I'm not going to read the post, but Gold Link made a long post. Basically, you know, from my perspective, when I first read it, that's what I'm going to say. Showing Mac love, saying that they were best friends, they were close. Mac was one of the first people to recognize him as an artist and like shout him out and shit. And he said that he had a similar idea of, what is it, Divine Feminine? Oh, yeah, Divine Feminine. But I guess Mac, like, put it out first or something. But he wasn't saying that. He never once said Mac took the idea from him or Mac stole the idea. And throughout the thing, he kept saying that he had love for Mac. The album was great. No, Mac baked him a cake for when, like, his first album dropped. All that. So, like, they're good friends. But my only thing is, when I first, when I first read it, I was like, why? Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, and that's what happened. I still, still, happen. still yeah, like, have like, 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 why not? What was the point? You have good friends, but yeah. you're shooting shots. That's doesn't make any sense. Bro. Regardless of what your intention was behind that, that's just, you just look, that it's, I don't know, the feeling that I got from it, I'm, I'm big on energy. And like, I just, I felt, reading that, I was just like, this just doesn't feel, bro. this just feels yeah. off. It felt off. It really felt off. Like, it didn't, like, I, I know what you mean. The message was yeah. very, like, I don't know, it was, I guess you could say it was like he, he was showing love to him, but it, it almost yeah. just like he was nah. just saying, he was just saying, he was just talking, he was just venting. So, so this, I think this was like early in the week, like five years ago or something. So then two nights ago, he had a concert and then he basically, you know, after his performance or during his performance, he gave a speech out saying like, yo, Mac is my brother. I wasn't trying to say that he was stealing from me. He stole the idea yeah. from me. Like, yeah, I saw that. we're best friends. Like, he said some low key yeah. mook shit in there too, but I can repeat it. He should have kept his mouth <laughs> from the jump if that's if you feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I and he at, he had a, on another he went on another rant a week or two ago when the Grammy nominations yeah, dropped yeah, by the Tyler thing. Yeah. So I don't know if he what was that, bro. He's something. Oh, but, yeah, but he, was, he, 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 he was yeah. Like, he didn't get nominated. That is it. Yeah, he was backing yeah. up Tyler, like saying he shouldn't he shouldn't have been in hip hop. He should have been just basketball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, album. Facts. He was saying that Burning Boy should have got nominated for some stuff. He was, he for sure. Was and he was saying, yeah, he was saying that fact, but it's like he's been going on these rants and it's looking like a pattern. Yeah, and it's yeah. like you just look you look mad because Max stuff took off and right. yeah. you said, oh, hold on, hold on. That was my idea. Right. Goldling has the best album of the year to me. Bro, get out of here. <laughs> But his album is my favorite album this year, as of mm-hmm. right now. I'll say it's cool, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a good album. It's a good album. It's a good album. Great album. Yeah, with Justine Scott on the cover. Yeah. It's a great album. I'm not going to agree with that, but I yeah. like the album too. Um, but like where Anderson Pack, you, you, you forgot to mention Anderson Pack responded. Yeah, he did. And he was just like, yo, like, what, what are you doing? Basically, like, what we were saying, like, why? You know, what was the point of this? And when I read it, I felt like it was hate, like, yeah, yo, like, he mad, he mad, he didn't even know what I didn't feel like it was hate. I'm not hate, not hate, like, not, like, flat out hate, just, but like, I know what you mean, like, 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 it was just, like, very, like, the, cause it was the timing, and just what he so said was, in the message, it was just, it was just, like, he's mad, he's like, mad, like, what is he, like, what is he, he probably feel like he got the best album of the year, too. And he I mean, everybody he should have got a nomination. Bro, what the fuck you mean? So, that album is fire. Even if it is, you don't shit, you don't shit on your man who's dead. Yeah. Hold on, what is that? No, that doesn't have anything to do with the nomination, though, does it? I think it no. does. No. No, the nomination, he was talking about that in the second post with Tyler. But not, but what he's saying, like, he's all of this is that. He's saying all of this is in like in addition to that. Yeah, like, you said it's been ran for the past week. Why ain't my album taken tight. off? Like Divine Feminine. You know what I mean? My, my, I mean he, he took my album my idea, you know what I mean? Tyler should have got this, da, 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 da. they don't fuck with us, blah, 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 blah. Bro, you're mad, bro. Cause if you was nominated for all that shit, you wouldn't have said that shit about Mac, bro. Yeah. If you was getting the recognition, you yeah, wouldn't man, have said it's that. It's just shit. like, dude, like you're gonna speak about the dead, I feel like. And especially yeah. if that person was dead. Right. 
is your friend. Bro. You know what I mean? That that slight shouldn't have even been in that. That should have yeah. been something. That's, 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 when I first read that's the only thing I had a problem. I was like, yo, all right, you giving love to your mans, but he's dead. So even if you do feel that way about whatever the album situation is, you still shouldn't say that. For one, because he's dead. I don't, Bro, the you're the not supposed to speak on no dead people. And then if that's really your mans, then nah, you can't do that. So, so the perfect way he could have summed it up, he could have just said, Yo, at the end of the day, we didn't always see eye to eye. We didn't have agreements. Leave it like that. We don't have to know the details of why you feel like he did you dirty. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that because um, he but does. I didn't, I didn't take that from that being their relationship. Though. I took it as they were good friends. That really is his man's, but he do feel like he stole his idea. Then, man, that's a conversation for you behind the closed yeah, door. Yeah, man. That should be. Like, he, he, can't, he can't have that conversation anymore. Right, so don't bring it to the public. Why are you bringing it to everybody else? Bruh, you know how this generation <laughs> is, bro. <laughs> they love putting shit on social media. I'm you know, expressing their feelings. Personally, I feel like a lot of this stuff is strategic. Strategized. We talked about it, right? And <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, they, they do this just so that they can, like you said, they can get the knobs on so doing this. So and get even more exposure. People will see, oh, 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 drop this out, boom. You know, it's it's just getting that attention, getting that attraction. Yeah. And it just is he is he independent? Out. Is is Dolby independent? I'm mm-hmm. not sure. Yeah, you have to check that shit out. Cause like if he signed and yeah, I'm assuming who knows who knows if he was like somebody should like, yo, like build some traction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another thing I was thinking. I was, thinking. I was so like, weird. I was like, yo, this is I was like, yo, this is the second rank. Does he have a does he have an album dropping soon? This dude. That whole idea is so weird. Like some exact in a suit. Yeah. Like, bro, this is what you really need to do to get your yeah. album popping. Like, yeah, that's they do that shit. All that shit. You know, but, that's, but that ties in. This is a deeper conversation. We ain't gonna get on. But that ties into the um the anti shit that you was telling me about before. But like Kyrie and Trippy Red and all them. Oh yeah. Like yeah. You know, that's Trippy, Trippy, Trippy and uh, Trippy whole career was based off beefing with uh with Six Nine. Nine. Yeah. And I know, I know for a fact his label meant, yo, 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 they on the same label. Yeah, they on the same label. Y'all in the same <laughs> meetings with the same people, like, yo, but y'all got this murder beef. Like, bro, get out of here. 6 9 first big song was featured on Trippy's album. So oh, they definitely do that shit behind closed doors. Well, no, bro. But I don't know if this that's is why, the case. Yeah, that's why I said, like, that's why I went up here. You know what I mean? I'm about to see. He ain't got no label behind him, you know what I mean? Whispering in his ear. No pun intended. At the end of the day, I think Goldie is a great artist, and I feel like if he just do what he's doing, work on his own music, you know what I mean? Like, he don't need that publicity shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that people talking about him for the wrong reasons, he don't need that. His music is already good. But he kind of he kind of does need that, though, because not necessarily people talk about him for the wrong reasons, but getting more, like, publicity, because he makes great music. His past two albums were great albums, but it's not really getting that mainstream love or mainstream this, success that he probably wants. My opinion on this is like his biggest song is Crew. And the only people reason why people was fucking with that song is because of Brent on the hook. That's a fact. They could have put any anybody could have plugged themselves into that song and that joint would have took off, period. I mean so you have to structure the song too. I, I believe it. Uh-huh. But it's like yo, but I, I carry that in weight as far as like, okay, yeah you, you caught one, but what what was your follow what was your follow up? I hear nothing follow that up. And it's like, if you want to be, you want to be recognized as this great artist, you can't come in off of uh, somebody destroying the hook. It's literally plug and play. Yeah. It's like, uh... But what this situation did bring, it brought Brent a lot of love from people. Like, he got... Oh, yeah, because I, I hear this thing more than I hear yeah. uh, the gold leagues, you know what I'm mean? like, all right, people not sleeping on Brent no more. Though. That's a fact. So it kind of worked out. Yeah, something for somebody, and he yeah. ain't better. Yeah, I mean, take a shot. It says RCA, right? Yeah, division of Sony RCA. Yeah. Most of the people on RCA don't be don't be on no funny shit like that. But like, if that's somebody like that's your man, man, just take that on the chin, bro. Yeah. So the point being, just don't speak on the dead. That's a fact. If you're gonna do it like that, it's just reading it was just distasteful to me. (laughs) I did not like it personally. Yeah. (laughs) Shout out, shout out to Anderson Pack too for supporting us. Yeah. So what I didn't get into, I didn't see what Anderson Pack said. Oh, that's a big part of it because he he basically like was like, dude, like you're mad at something that I'm not even mad at, but you're speaking about me in it. Like you know what I mean? Like because then you said that I was the first with the Anderson Pack. He's like, bro, like. I don't feel this way at all, and you shouldn't be speaking on Mac in this way if he's really your friend. Basically, what we're saying. Once again, Anderson had his he had his success because he he makes great music and it's like his sound was like undeniable. 
Yeah, well, his album is one of my favorite R&B albums of the year. One of my best. Yo, my favorite artists. We gotta make a list in the year too. Years. For sure. Favorite R&B and hip hop albums. New Year's Eve coming soon. Huh? New Year's Eve. Yeah, somewhere around there. Might as well. 